Hi, here is Ricardo Zilli, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you the most important features of the visualization mode. In the previous videos, I showed that you could customize the graphics just as you wish and save the templates to use later. But probably the most powerful feature of the visualization mode is the ability to flag data in every graphic. So, the idea is that everything you can see, you can flag it. To illustrate, let's open a file. I'll drag a WinData file inside the process editor. It will automatically create and open an import step. And I will use a predefined template. And apply. I'll also add a calibration step just to show how the flag works in a process with more than one step. I'll add any calibration, 3, 80 meters, wind speed, apply. Let me save the project. And let's go to the visualization mode. You might have noticed that there are four panels in the right side. The content panel, where you can select the data that will be shown in the graphics. Here you have a list of variables available in a table format. There are a lot of columns with information about the variables, the label, the height, the type. If you don't want to see a specific column, you can disable it. And also you can filter using their values. And you can create variables in this panel using simple expressions. We'll see that in just a minute. The flag panel is where you can create the flags and manage their behavior in the graphics. The view panel is where you can filter the data that is shown with many different criteria and rules. And the configuration panel where you can define or design the style of your graphic. For now, let's go through our data to see if we find any problem. You can close the side panels if you want. And here you can control what part of the data will be shown. One day, seven days, one year, or the whole data. You can even precisely define the period. You can press play and adjust the speed. And because you can see the whole data right from this panel, sometimes it is possible to detect the problem right away and you can jump to the problem to analyze and treat it. So, we can see that there is a problem here. Let's see when the problem started. Yes, so it is clear that there is a problem in the 80 meters wind speed and therefore we want to flag this wrong data, probably to exclude them later. So let's do this. And I'll show you many different ways to do that in Vio, and the way I would use to tackle this particular problem. The first thing we could do is to click the flag button and to select the data we want to flag. You'll notice that Vio changed the panel to the flag one, and here we can select the variables we want to flag, 80 meters, wind speed. We can select a predefined flag or create another one. Let's say demo flag. When I click, the data will be flagged and the flag will be added to this panel. Here I can see the name of the flag, in which step I applied the flag. I can change the color as I wish and I can select how I want the flag to be shown. I can hide the data, highlight it, and show the flag. Highlight is useful when the variable that was flagged is not in the graphic. You will still be able to see the period that was flagged. Alright, in that case, I selected values that actually seem to be okay, so I can unflag them in the same way. Select the values and unflag. Notice that the flag must be selected properly. To be more accurate, you can zoom in using the scroll in your mouse, and you can use the control button in your keyboard to unselect values like that. 
so you can have complete control of the selected data. As I said, you can see that same problem in different graphics and flag from them. We could go to the diurnal profile, go where the problem is, oops, here, and to be able to flag, you would need to change the style to a column chart. And now you could flag it. Let's call it diurnal flag. And we can see the new flags in the time series. Let's try with the histogram. Now, here the problem is a little more isolated in this bin around zero. We can flag it, histogram, flag, and let's go back to the time series. For sure it was much better than flagging with the diurnal chart, but still it could not flag the values far away from the zero. Probably the scatter chart would be the best one because it can compare two variables. For instance, the wind speed at 60 meters that has good data with the 80 meters where the problem is. Yes, now I think we got them all. But still sometimes it's not easy to manually draw the limits between the good and the bad data. So now I will show you another way to flag those wrong values and for sure that would be my choice for flagging. First, I will create a new variable that compares the wind speed at 80 meters with the 60 meters. Let's say V80 meters minus V60 meters. Here, you could use a value in the expression, but I want to compare two variables. So I want to convert this cell to variable right-clicking in it. And I will remove these just to see more clearly the variable I've just created. It's really evident that the error occurs when the values are below zero because that's when the higher anemometer records values below the lower anemometer. What occasionally can happen, we can see that here, but certainly not like that. So now we can filter using a rule in the view panel. Here, for instance, we could filter by direction, by month, by hour of the day, and we can create a rule. We can select a variable and see the data only when it is less than zero. And we can refine the criteria to isolate only the problem we want to flag. Now you can flag. Select the whole period because only the data being shown will be flagged. can go to content, select the wind speeds, and don't forget to clear the filter to see the whole data. We can hide the flag, and now it seems that we have only good data. But now, if we go to the calibration tab, we will not see the flags that were done in the import step by default but you can choose to see the flags from previous steps if you want. But one step cannot see the flags coming from the future, it can only look back to the past. Let's change the style of this graphic real fast. You can select a predefined template or you can create another one.
and add it to your favorites, so you won't need to do that again. If you already worked with a nearby MetMast, you could add it to your project to help in the analysis. And you can drag the step from that mast inside the graph to compare. So now, if we want to remove the flagged data, we can add a delete data step, delete by flag. I will choose only the rule flag and the wind speed apply. I will rename it to clean it data. Now we could export the cleaning data to a text file that could be opened in other softwares. We could export also the calibrated data to compare. And the nice thing is that you have complete control of everything you are doing. You won't forget what data you exported because you can see it here. And suppose you want to clean your data using different flags or different criteria, and you don't want to lose the history of what you've done just in case, you can add another delete data step, select a different criteria, and then export the data again without changing what you have done. That's it for today. Please feel free to ask for a better version of the software or to ask any question. And see you in the next video.